Hey, Fortnite fans, I'm Thomas Mott. Welcome into Chat Sports, and today we're doing part two of our two part series where we give you guys the best and most interesting position battles heading into training camp. As of course, the 49ers training camp is officially upon us. All the players reported yesterday, and now let the position battles begin. So, if you missed our first edition of this uh, little episode here. We talked about the offensive position battles, whether it's running back or wide receiver or tight end. Go and check that out, of course, here on the channel. Today, though, we already did offense. That means today is defense. So there are fewer defensive position battles, but there are more important position battles on the defensive side. So on the offensive side, wide receiver, right, is more of a second tier, a second tier, a third tier wide receiver. Same with running back. These are all starter level positions we got to break down for you guys here today on the 49ers report. So we start with the big one, the most important one. First, we're going to jump right into it. Emmanuel Mosley, Akello Witherspoon, the battle for the number two cornerback spot opposite of Richard Sherman. So the 49ers have not announced who will start with the first team reps once they begin, you know, 11 on 11s or 7 on 7s in training camp, which again, is going to happen come in the, in the coming days. So we don't know who it's going to be. The question will be, will Akello, Akello Witherspoon, who started the 2019 season, or will it be Emmanuel Mosley, who finished the 2019 season at the number two cornerback spot, who will get the start? Now, I've said before many, many, many times, right? This is Mosley's job to lose. I've said it many times. Again, this is Emmanuel Mosley's job to lose. He is going to win this job. Now, again, just because I see it doesn't mean it's actually going to happen. we got to wait and see what happens in training camp. But my bet is Mosley will be cornerback number two in the 49ers secondary depth chart. Now, when you compare both of them, the stats are a little bit interesting. So Mosley had nine starts. Witherspoon had eight. Mosley basically doubled the tackles, but they both had the same amount of interceptions. So how much better is Emmanuel Mosley than Akella Witherspoon? That's kind of up for debate. Now, I would argue he looked a lot better when he played versus what Witherspoon did, but there are some people out there that think Witherspoon played better. The big thing for me, though, is the advanced stats on Emmanuel Mosley. If you look at the advanced stats, the more important stats, he was really, really good. He was only targeted 24.3% of all snaps. He allowed 10.7 yards per reception, only four touchdowns, and a 58.1% catch rate. Now, it's not Richard Sherman-type numbers, but it still is very, very good. So the eyes, again, defensive position battles will immediately, I'm telling you, immediately go to the cornerback spot, the number two cornerback spot. I'm hoping that they will announce who will get the first reps, the first crack at it. I think it will be Mosley, but this will be an open battle all the way up until week one. I'm sure they will announce who wins it, and obviously we will tell you guys when it happens here on the 49ers report. But the first one we look at here is the cornerback spot. I would predict it's going to be Mosley, but maybe a killer with a spoon can prove me wrong. Who do you think wins the job? Let me know in the comment section down below. Is it Mosley? Is it Witherspoon? Type M down below for Mosley. Type W down below for Witherspoon. Before we keep going, if you want to jump on any of the 49er player jersey discounts that are happening right now at chatsports.com slash 49 jersey, you should do it pretty quickly because they're on sale and they won't be on sale for long. All authentic 49er player jerseys, you can get your favorites right now, 25% off. So an official Jimmy G, George Kittle, Kinlaw, Ayuk, whatever you want jersey is only $75. It's a crazy good deal. And hopefully, if we get fans in the stands, you can rep your 49ers at Levi Stadium later on this year. Chatsports.com slash 49 jersey. Link down below in the description box. Place to pick up an authentic jersey for 25% off. Next position battle. Again, yeah, we talked about this, but this is another big one. Who will be the strong side linebacker? The uh, the number two linebacker, as they say, in the National Football League. Is it Dre Greenlaw or is it Kwan Alexander? So, you have no idea who's going to get the first crack at this, but my guess is it'll be Dre Greenlaw, as I have said before. Now, started off last year with the big free agent addition, Kwan Alexander. Or the big addition, I should say, Kwan Alexander, who started the position. Torn pectoral, goes to the bench. Greenlaw comes in as a rookie and really outperformed what uh, what, what, what Quan Alexander was expected to do. I think that they will start Drake Greenlaw at this spot, but this is still an open battle and the best player will obviously win the job. Now, Greenlaw in 2019 was absolutely fantastic. He had 92 total tackles, three tackles for a loss and a sack. But he was really good in the big games. I mean, 20 the, the Week 17 matchup against the Seattle Seahawks, he not only had the game-saving, game-winning tackle there at the one-yard line, but had 13 total tackles and a big hit on Russell Wilson at the same time. I think that he is going to win this job. Again, the problem is there, Quan Alexander is still a great player, and he is as hungry as possible because he's probably been watching the 49ers report and hearing me say he's going to lose the job. So he actually took to Twitter recently and spoke up about really trying to have a really good offseason and 2020 season. Before I show, you, I show you what he said, though, be sure to subscribe to the 49ers report. We're at 26,000 subs and approaching 30,000 subs. So go ahead and subscribe for the latest stuff where you're covered for training camp. Here is the Kwan Alexander tweet. He tweeted this out just a couple of days ago on his official Twitter handle where he said, quote, 
y'all ain't seen blank yet. I'm coming for blood this year. Now, obviously, he's probably coming for, he means he's coming for blood against the opposing teams. But honestly, you look at the team deep dive at this, peel back the layers, I think he means he's trying to win back his starting job. Because right now, even though technically he would just start at the weak side linebacker position, the will linebacker position, if he were to lose the strong side linebacker positions, it essentially reduces the amount of snaps he would have on the football field dramatically. Because anytime the 49ers get out of their base 4-3 defense and go to a nickel or a dime or even a quarters defense, He's the first linebacker to leave. Greenlaw would stay with Fred Warren, and he would be the first one to leave. So this is a very important position battle and one to keep an eye on, not only during training camp, but during the season as well, because I think it'll be Greenlaw, but if, if uh, Alexander proves me wrong, then good for him. Best player should start there, obviously, at every position on the 49ers depth chart. Who wins this one? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Is it Greenlaw or Alexander? Type G down below for Greenlaw. Type A down below for Alexander. Okay. A final real battle to look at here, and again, most of these spots on the defense are obviously solidified. DN solidified, linebacker besides, of course, Quan Alexander is uh, is pretty much good to go. The number one cornerback job is obviously Sherman. The safeties are good to go. Is defensive tackle the backup position at the tackle? Because obviously, we know who's going to be starting. We know Kinlaw is probably going to be in there as a starter. We know Armstead will probably be right beside him. They'll have D Ford and Joey and Nick Bosa on the outsides, but who will get the backup D-tackle reps. They have some solid depth at defensive tackle, and this actually might be the year that Salman Thomas finally steps up and gets those uh, not much needed reps, but the reps that he should have been getting up to this point in his career. Now, before we do, you guys think Salman Thomas has been a bust? Has he been a bust for the 49ers? This is an obvious question to me. Type Y down below for yes. Type N down below for no. So right now, 49ers defensive line depth chart is as you see it. It looks like it's going to be pretty simple for the starting four. But there's some room there to see who gets rotational reps there at defensive tackle. And the question really becomes, it will it be Salman Thomas? Will it be DJ Jones? Or will it be Kentavious Street that fill in the role behind Javon Kinlaw? Because even though Kinlaw has to compete and prove he's good to go at the number one D tackle, the 14th overall pick, should start at the tackle. So really, it comes down to, in my opinion, DJ Jones versus Solomon Thomas. 2019, same stats. I mean, literally, they did the exact same thing. Almost the same amount of tackles, same amount of sacks, and very similar in assist and quarterback hits as well. I hope Solomon Thomas picks up the slack and starts playing at, at a level that we have expected him to do since he was a top five overall pick. But... I'm not going to hold my breath. I don't think this is a guarantee overall. But even though a lot of people will look at the 49ers defensive line and go, oh, yeah, they got Bosa, and oh, yeah, they got Kinlaw, and oh, yeah, Armstead, and, and D Ford, the real battle, at least in training camp, and the one to keep an eye on and really watch and see what happens is the backup rotational role. Will we hear news that Solomon Thomas is looking better? Will it be Contavious Street? Could it be DJ Jones? Any one of these guys can win the most reps, even though all of them will play. So we've got to keep an eye on that as we get heavily and more into training camp. So one final thing. I want to mention here. This is important. As we start training camp, which started yesterday, and once they get on the football field, you're going to see a lot of insiders or a lot of team reporters tweeting out news about players. And the whole point of this video and the offensive breakdown video as well is to give you guys trigger words that way you know who people are talking about and what position battles are the most important. So when you hear someone say, Mosley looked really good today, you know, okay, that matters because he obviously is competing with a Keller Witherspoon. Likewise, oh, DJ Jones had a very good 11 on 11 today. And you go, okay, that's important because he's competing against Salma Thomas. So that's why we break this stuff down for you. Even though there are not a lot of position battles, it is an important place to look overall because this is still some spots that can be uh, filled when the 49ers take the football field. Week one, hopefully on September 13th, right? You know, fingers crossed, everything goes smoothly at home at Levi Stadium against the Arizona Cardinals. So again, quick breakdown. Cornerback, number two spot. Got to keep an eye on that one. The, obviously, the linebacker spot, well, besides Fred Warner, it's Greenlaw versus Alexander. Who is going to win that battle? I say Greenlaw, but maybe a lot of you guys say Alexander. And finally, the backup defensive tackle spot. Who is going to have the most rotational snaps in there on the D-line? Is it Thomas? Is it DJ Jones? Contavious Street? Uh, we're going to have to wait and see, but obviously that's one to keep an eye on here as we get closer to the start of the NFL season. All the time we have for today here on the 49ers Report, we're going to do a rumors video tomorrow, which we're going to cover the latest 49ers news and rumors, so stay tuned for that. Be sure you're subscribed, because once training camp starts, which it technically already has, news is going to come in like wow. I mean, it's crazy how fast it's going to be coming in, and we're going to cover it all here on the 49ers uh, uh, Report YouTube channel. To me, the best 49ers channel on the entire platform. So, again, all the time we have for today here on the 49ers support i am your host and fearless leader thomas mott signing off stay safe be smart and have a great rest of your day